Hey, welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. Today we're going to be looking at picks. Specifically, we're going to be checking out these wooden picks by Timbertones. Wooden picks are quite unique. Obviously, they're made of wood. They don't have the same tonal properties as a regular plastic pick that you've probably become accustomed to using because, you know, wooden picks are uh, very unique in terms of their characteristics. The wood qualities, the thickness of the different woods uh, are definitely going to have an influence on the tone. Now, is that tone what you're looking for? That remains to be seen. That's all a question of your personal preference. But if you haven't already done yourself the favor of trying, trying them out, visit timber-tones.com and you can see that they have over 200 different types, uh, styles and models of plectrums on their website. And you'll find uh, picks that are also not made of wood. They also have picks there that are actually made of stone. Unfortunately, I don't have samples of those within this um, sample kit that they sent me, so I I'm not able to review those, but maybe the guys at Timber Tones will send me over a more varied selection next time so that we can actually try different things. These picks are pretty much the same size. They vary in thickness between two and three and a half millimeters uh, in terms of what I have here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing the picks side by side on an acoustic Martin and I'm going to be using a regular cheap uh, 25 cent pick that you'd find in any music store and I'm going to be playing the same um, tune with these picks and we're going to see what the difference is in terms of tonality and you might find that uh, it's what you're looking for. So stay tuned for that. Let's get started because I know you guys want to hear what they sound like. So you have everything from, you know, mimosa, almond wood, sugar maple, you have Indian chestnut, you have blood wood. There's so many different types of species of woods that are being used for their picks. But honestly, I don't really know what the difference is sonically. The picks will produce different tones uh, based on the density of the wood, uh, how hard the material is, but I haven't explored all the different species of woods and had time to compare them all. But I have indeed tried a couple of these uh, in some tests for about a week or so. And I'll just take a random one here. So you can see how nice the grain pattern is here. The wood that they're using is actually finished, I think with, uh, it's either polished or finished with a protective coating. You can see that the edge of the pick is rounded and um, it's not just a flat piece of wood. It's actually, it actually comes to a, to a point. The majority of these vary between uh, two and a half to three millimeters in size. The actual size of the pick is not very much bigger than a regular pick. So my regular pick here can, can hide the uh, 
pick. So it's not, it's not larger than a regular pick, it's just thicker. And those of you who are not comfortable with picks that are a bit thicker or more rigid might have a hard time getting used to this type of a pick because it doesn't really have any give when you're playing like a, like a plastic pick would. Um, so if you like really thin picks, then these might not be for you. But if you do like picks that have a little bit more uh, rigidity to them, then definitely these would be an interesting type of pick to, uh, to try. For those of you who are concerned about, you know, woods being used improperly and, uh, you know, being depleted and whatnot, um, Timbertones has taken the initiative to use only uh, eco-friendly woods that are replenishable so that, you know, there's no species of woods that are endangered that are being used for the manufacturing of their picks. So there you go guys, timber tone picks. They're pretty unique. Uh, they're more durable than I expected them to be. When I was trying them out, I expected the wood to uh, not withstand regular playing, but I played them for over a week religiously and there's not one scratch or chip on them. So I don't know what they do with these woods to make them resilient like that. But, um, you know, one of the, the biggest um, worries that I had that they wouldn't stand up to the wear and tear um, is basically been put to bed here because I could assure you that they do withstand uh, regular playing. The only thing that's bad about these picks is that you're going to really feel bad when you lose one because they are really beautiful picks. So these are some of the uh, samples that I mentioned before in this collection that they sent me. Check them out guys, timber-tones.com. They really are making some very unique products for guitarists. Um, you might find the perfect pick for you there. So give yourself an opportunity to check that out. In the meantime, guys, we're getting really close to hitting the 5,000 subscriber mark. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do because there's going to be a lot more great video reviews that are going to be coming your way. And uh, you guys make it possible. This is why I do what I do is the feedback that you guys give me is wonderful. I really appreciate all the comments that uh, you give me uh, on the videos and it helps me make my videos better. So please guys, subscribe if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, stay tuned and keep rocking.